What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have some more interesting, shocking news as undefeated two division world champion, Olympic silver medalist, former unified WBC WBO super featherweight world champion, superstar boxer Shakur Stevenson, who has a record of 19 wins, no loss, and no draw. Nine wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, five foot eight, with a 68 and a half inch arm reach. He goes back and forth once again with undefeated, unified, three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has a record of 28 wins, no loss and no draw. 22 big wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age, 5 for 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Over Errol Spence's man down promotions, fighter and lightweight uh, star title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin. Frank Martin is 17 wins, no loss and no draw. 12 wins by way of knockout. 28 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 68 inch arm reach. Now, Frank Martin, he started the sport of boxing pretty late. But he had the biggest two, the last two wins, the biggest two wins of his career. He beat Jackson Mariñez. That was back in um, July of 2022. Uh, TKO victory in the 10th round. Then he beat Michelle Rivera, uh, who was undefeated. Uh, Dominican star boxer. He won unanimous decision over him. Okay. And uh, he made himself, you know, um, somebody to pay attention to. Not to mention he's promoted and trained. He's promoted by Errol Spence and he's trained by well-renowned two-time trainer of the year, Derek James, who's a future Hall of Famer in his own right, okay? So now we know that Errol Spence, his biggest fight of his career and the biggest fight you can make in boxing is between himself and undefeated three-division world champion, former undisputed junior welterweight world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who's widely considered by many, to be number one pound for pound best fight in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, so, uh, talking about Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence fight, fighters are trying to lobby to fight on the undercard of Errol Spence Terrence Crawford because it's a major fight. Okay, so uh, Keyshawn Davis, lightweight star title contender, Olympian, who is uh, seven wins, no loss, no draw, five wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, five for nine with a 70 inch arm reach. Keyshawn Davis. His resume as a professional doesn't reflect his boxing career, right? Because Keyshawn Davis is someone who is well-known in the sport of boxing. He stayed in the Olympics. He could have been a professional. He would have had at least uh, another five fights on tacked on to his resume currently as it stands, at least. But he decided to stay in the Olympics, attempt one more time to become a gold medalist, to which he came up short, okay? So nonetheless, he turned professional. He's well-known. He's well-renowned. Uh, everybody know him. He's a blue chip fighter. And so his fight, his seven fights don't reflect how far along in his career he is. He's still young, uh, but, you know, he's definitely well revered within the sport of boxing. Right. So Keyshawn Davis, he stated, it's only right that I fight Errol Spence's fighter in Frank Martin. Now, Keyshawn Davis, he's trained by Terrence Crawford's well-renowned former trainer of the year future Hall of Famer, and Bo Mac, Brian McIntyre, who trains Terrence Crawford. So that's why Keyshawn Davis is saying it's only right that I face off against Frank the Ghost Martin on the undercard as Terrence Crawford is fighting Errol Spence Jr., right? But the difference is Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent. Uh, Frank Martin is signed to Man Down Promotions. Errol Spence is the A-side to Terrence Crawford and uh, himself fight. So the fight is going to be on Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa with PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, Founder and Advisor, Al Heyman. And Terrence Crawford is going to have to go over there to make that fight happen. Where Keyshawn Davis, he's still signed to future Hall of Famer, or already Hall of Famer, legendary promoter, CEO, Bob Arum, ESPN, and top rank. So it's very difficult to make that fight happen. So um, with that said, uh, Keyshawn Davis says, I'm going to fight Frank the Ghost Martin on the undercard. To which Errol Spence, he responded and he said, uh, that fight is not going to happen, okay? Uh, because the young pup is still on the leash over there at top rank, so it's not going to happen. Uh, I would much rather see Shakur Stevenson anyway. 
he called out Shakur Stevenson to fight Frank the Ghost Martin. So Shakur Stevenson responded and said, I'm with it. Uh, line it up. Let's make it happen, right? Uh, Keyshawn said, listen, let me take care of him, uh, Shakur. And Shakur said, you can do what you want. I want the big fish anyway, but I'm just letting Errol Spence know I'm on it, right? Uh, then somebody went to Errol Spence's page and said, Errol, please make the Keyshawn Davis Frank Martin fight. Errol Spence responded and says, it's not going to happen. To which Errol Spence's close friend, Yellow Beezy, who is a hip hop uh, mogul and an entertainer, a well-renowned hip hop mogul and entertainer, and Yellow Beezy, he responds that he got money on Shakur, on Frank Martin beating Keyshawn Davis. Okay, uh, to which Shakur Stevenson responded, "Tell Errol Spence to put I got three hundred thousand on Keyshawn Davis to beat Frank Martin." To which Errol Spence then responds and says. They not fighting. Save the money for you and him down the line. So essentially, he said, save the money for that three hundred thousand. We'll bet the three hundred thousand when you fight Frank Martin. He says, uh, when uh, if Devin Haney moves up and wait. Now Devin Haney is the undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar boxer who is twenty nine wins, no loss, and no draw. Uh, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. And Devin Haney, he's going into a massive showdown of his own uh, May 20th against Olympic two-time gold medalist, three division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Hightech Lomachenko. So they're going to fight May 20th in Las Vegas, Nevada. So um, he's not going to be available. Devin Haney's not going to be available. Uh, but he's saying that if Devin Haney move up, because there's a lot of chatter that Devin Haney uh, is possibly moving up to junior welterweight after this fight with Lomachenko. This fight uh, with uh, Lomachenko is satisfying his obligation with top rank three fight obligation. He's now going to be a network promotional free agent. And more than likely, Devin Haney is either going to move up or he's going to possibly look to face off against uh, Javante Tank Davis, superstar three division world champion. Should Javante Tank Davis be victorious? against Ryan Garcia. And the reason I point out Javante Tank Davis, because if Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis, they have made it abundantly clear that Devin Haney is an absolute uh, problem for them, uh, that they are saving Devin Haney for last. His uh, Bernard Hopkins has stated this. Uh, Ryan Garcia has stated this, that Devin Haney is the toughest fight of them all, and they're going to save him for last. So if Ryan Garcia happens to beat Javante Tank Davis, which I'm favoring Javante Tank Davis to beat Ryan Garcia, that's scheduled April 22nd, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. Then Ryan Garcia is going to go in a different direction, and so will Devin Haney. But if R Javante Tank Davis wins, Devin Haney, you can bet your dollar that he's going to pursue the Javante Tank Davis fight because there's a lot of chatter about himself and uh, Javante Tank Davis. There are uh, two glorified sparring sessions. They have history. They've been going back and forth. Uh, Coach Calvin and uh, Bill Haney, father, trainer, manager, and CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, Bill Haney, Coach Calvin Ford, father uh, father figure, big brother figure, mentor, and longtime trainer, Javante Tank Davis, they have a rivalry, so it's a built-in storyline. So you can expect them to go that route, um, Devin Haney, if that, that happens. But Shakur Stevenson is in line to fight the winner, Lomachenko, Devin Haney. So we don't know what Devin Haney is going to do next, if he's going to fight Shakur Stevenson. Uh, is he going to move up to Julian Welterweight? Is he going to fight Javante Tank Davis? So he's saying if Devin Haney, that being Errol Spence, if he moves up, uh, then save that money. Because he moves up, that means he's going to vacate the belt. And Frank Martin is going to be in line for the uh, mandatory. So with Shakur Stevenson. And then we could possibly get Shakur Stevenson versus Frank the Ghost Martin for uh, a vacant belt. Right. So that's why Errol Spence is saying that. So this is huge. Right. Um, this is good news. This is what the sport of boxing needs. Uh, I personally think, now obviously, uh, Errol Spence is with Frank Martin. He trains with Frank Martin. He's around Frank Martin. Frank Martin is his fighter. Uh, Frank Martin is definitely a very, very good fighter, a slick fighter. He started the sport a little bit later than uh, all of the other crop of fighters. That's why he don't get mentioned in the same light as them all the time. He kind of gets forgotten as the, the four kings, uh, Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, and Shakur Stevenson, right? Shakur Stevenson gets left out of the four kings tall. Because he was a, a weight class or two behind them. Um, so with that said, you know, uh, Frank Martin gets left out that conversation because he started later than them. Uh, he doesn't have the amateur background that they do. So with that said, you know, this is a big fight. I personally think that 
Uh, Shakur Stevenson is a uh, um, more seasoned and uh, just uh, sharper than Frank Martin right now. I think Keyshawn Davis fight would be huge. Um, and this is huge for the sport of boxing. Young fighters mixing it up and uh, looking to fight on this mega stage. Errol Smith is 33. Terrence Crawford is 35. Uh, their time in the sport of boxing is not very is not much longer. Shakur Stevenson, these fighters, Frank Martin, their fight, their future is uh, a lot longer than theirs. So drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going. See a bump garden. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.